Hey everyone, welcome back to Bono's Tech Stuff. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Razer's new external GPU enclosure, the Razer Core. So the prerequisites for setting up the Razer Core are obviously the Razer Core, the Razer Blade Stealth, or the newest Razer Blade, a compatible graphics card, and the monitor is optional. Now, we won't need any tools because Razer has designed the core to have a completely toolless install. Now that everything is unboxed, we're gonna do the physical setup of the core, and then later we'll move on to the software setup. Step one to installing the GPU is taking the inner tray out of the outer shell. To do this, unlatch the back panel and pull out the tray. You can then discard the foam insert. So here's the PCI Express slot where the graphics card goes. Then the power supply is here, and then on the back here we have four USB 3 ports, Ethernet, and the 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt port, and power. From this angle, you will see the removable back plate. To remove it, unscrew this thumb screw and slide the back plate up. We will then take our graphics card line it up with the PCI Express slot, and push it in carefully until you hear it click. It is exactly like installing a GPU into a desktop. I'm going to do it again from a different angle. After the GPU is securely in the PCI slot, screw the thumb screw back into place. The core comes with up to two 8-pin connectors, but my card only requires one 6-pin power connector. After the power is connected to our card, we can put the tray back into the case. With the handle open, grab the tray and lift it slightly off the ground and onto the rails. Close it and then shut the latch. Inside the box that came with the core, you will find the power cable, the foot and a half long Thunderbolt 3 cable, that seems really short, but if they made it any longer, it would reduce the transfer speed significantly, just about cutting it in half. Next, we need to plug everything in. We're going to start with the power cable, then the Thunderbolt cable, and then the cable that goes from the GPU to the monitor. Before we move on to the software setup part, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer. The software setup for the Razer Blade Stealth and the Razer Blade are different. Not only that, they can change at any time. So be sure to check Razer's core setup page on their website before continuing to see if they have made any changes. I will also put a link in the description. So I only own a Razer Blade Stealth, I do not own the newest Razer Blade. So in this video we are only going to go over the setup for the Razer Blade Stealth. But that is okay, because for the newest Razer Blade, all you have to do is plug in the core and install your latest graphics drivers. And then if you want to, you can install the beta version of the GPU switcher tool. So for the rest of the video, we're just going to go over these instructions for the Razer Blade Stealth. So first we're gonna click on this step number one, download and install the latest Blade Stealth updater tool and installation guide. The guide is this PDF right here. And then we wanna go back to this page and download the Razer Blade Stealth Updater, whatever the current version is, and then we can go back to the PDF and look at the instructions again. So as per the instructions, we want to make sure that the Razer Blade Stealth is at least 50% charge, and then we plug in the Razer Core. As soon as we plug in the Razer Core, we will see this new Thunderbolt devices have been attached screen we click OK, and then we click Always Connect on the drop-down, and then OK again. It is then at this point 
that we want to unzip the blade stealth updater tool to use on our razor blade stealth. Then we want to run the blade stealth updater as admin and we will let it extract and then click update if it needs any updates. If there is an EC update, it will restart automatically. If there was no EC firmware update, then you will just have to click the shutdown button. After you shut down, make sure you unplug the core, wait 30 seconds, power your blade stealth back on, and then plug the core back in. After the core is plugged back in, we want to run the updater again just to see if we missed any updates the first time. If everything is up to date, go ahead and click the green Intel Graphics Driver link. That link will take you to a page similar to this one. Click the blue Download Now button in the bottom left hand corner, and then go ahead and run the updater. Let it scan for updates, and if it finds any, install them. After the onboard Intel drivers are done, head over to either AMD or NVIDIA's site, depending on which graphics card you put into the core. Once on their site, download the appropriate drivers for your graphics card and install them. After your GPU drivers are installed, you will most likely get a display driver updated notification in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. At this point, you will want to reboot your razor blade stealth. Here we see that the 960 is successfully running in the core. We can also see that as soon as we launch Overwatch, that process automatically starts running on the 960 instead of the internal GPU. Now let's look at it working with an external monitor. And that's it for the Razor Core setup video. Thanks for watching, and if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time.